This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday the 17th. James Spann here feels a little better today, and that gradual warming trend continues for the rest of this week. Let's take a look out the window. Some sky cam shots this afternoon. How about a beautiful sunny sky? That's from downtown Birmingham. Started off the day with some clouds. We've gone severe clear this afternoon, and we are up in the middle 40s. Sounds pretty good. Let's go down south. That's a sky cam in Opelika in Lee County, where the sky is also sunny. And we'll go way down south. That's a sky cam on the Alabama Gulf Coast atop the Phoenix All Suites at Gulf Shores. And by golly, it's going to be spring break time down there before you know it. And again, it's a cloudless sky on a winter day in Alabama. Here's a water vapor satellite uh, shot this afternoon. Still a trough over the east, but the amplitude will be decreasing in coming days. And a uh, zonal flow sets up across the uh, south. Instead of the Arctic air, we'll have Pacific air. So uh, the weather will feel much more comfortable later this week. And there's a look at our numbers. You can see that that red line, the freeze line, is beginning to retreat north. Uh, it's above freezing in Nashville. They've got 36, and we've got 40s down here. Uh, Birmingham, 45 degrees at 2 o'clock. Nice. The same for Coleman, Gadsden, and Anniston, Tuscaloosa, 48. Good chance we'll hit 50 tomorrow. Watch warning, man. Pretty quiet around the nation. Just a couple of scattered uh, pockets where winter weather advisories are up, but uh, most locations with calm conditions. Precipitation for the next five days valid through Monday morning of next week at 6 o'clock. And the number's beginning to ramp up a little bit. That's suggesting one half inch of rain here. Heavier totals back off to the west. And uh, looks like the next really significant rain, excuse me, rain event will be Sunday night or Monday. And the models are converging nicely on that idea. Let's take a look. This is the 12Z GFS at noon tomorrow, noon Thursday. And you can see how the whole flow beginning to break down somewhat in uh, down below, that should be a nice day, sunny with a high at or just over 50 in most spots. Friday, how about mid-50s, maybe even upper 50s? As the cool air continues to retreat north, we note a little rain breaking out off to the west. And there's a look at Saturday, and you can see how the whole flow has gone zonal across the deep south. And down below that, maybe a shower over the Tennessee Valley, but... Uh, you know, it just doesn't look like rain is going to be an issue. Yeah, we'll mention some risk of widely scattered showers, but uh, odds are most of you will not have big rain problems on Saturday. And Sunday looks good, but there's our well-defined system off to the west. Uh, Sunday looks like we might be up there around 60, maybe even low 60s. Surface low near Tulsa Monday of next week. That surface low has moved over to a point near Cincinnati with uh, rain really off to the east. So the GFS is suggesting the best chance of rain could be Sunday night, maybe 6 p.m. Sunday through 6 a.m. Monday. Take a look at the European. This is valid at noon Monday. Surface low again up north around Cincinnati. And uh, by golly, if there's enough instability, there could even be some thunder involved with this thing Monday. Uh, but again, that's kind of suggesting like the GFS, the main uh, rain could be shifting out by midday Monday. And there's a look at the uh, Canadian. This is Monday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. And again, very good consistency with all three of those now. So uh, we'll bring in a chance of rain and possibly possibly a thunderstorm Sunday night into Monday, especially Monday morning. And there's Tuesday of next week, back to the GFS, a little colder in the wake of that. And Wednesday, the cold air deepens a bit. The 540 line is near Huntsville. And uh-oh, yeah, we see a storm down there in the western Gulf. Go to Thursday of next week. Yeah, buddy. That's a week from tomorrow, the 25th. Surface low in the Gulf. Winter storm conditions for North Alabama. Are you kidding me? Well, yeah, I am. That's not a forecast. This will probably change. But that's why we've said the idea of more winter weather mischief is possible this month. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying it could. And then the following day, it turns awfully cold as that storm lifts on out on the 26th, Friday of next week. So, uh, by golly, after we warm up to near 60 or maybe low 60s this weekend, we'll maybe have to look at some risk of wintry weather somewhere for the deep south out there toward the latter half of next week. Let's go out there toward the end of the forecast. This is March 3rd. And again, it's an active southern stream there, and that suggests a wet weather system with maybe some snow north of here. And, of course, if this active southern stream keeps up, you know what that might mean, some issues with the uh, 
tornado season being active. I mean, that's uh, March, April, May, so just something to think about. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.